Welcome to Math 20 Video Lecture Series. So, sisimulan na natin gamitin yung mga natutunan natin in our previous lessons sa pag-solve ng triangles. So, ito yung application na pinakaaantay na natin. So, ano bang ibig sabihin muna natin ng solution sa triangles or solving a triangle? So, ang ibig sabihin niya ay eto ay so it means solving a triangle, solving for the length of its sides and the measure of its interior angles. And we are going to adopt this notation. So let's say we have this triangle. So ibig sabi ng solving for the triangle, solving for the sides. Oops. Lengths of the sides and the interior angles. And ang notation natin ganito, the interior angles are alpha, are alpha, beta, gamma. And the length of the side opposite to alpha is A, opposite to B, or beta is B, opposite to gamma is C. And yung vertices, yung vertex na may angle alpha, that is vertex A, for angle beta, B, uh, angle gamma, C. So, that is the notation that we're going to use. And in this lecture, right triangles muna yung isosolve natin. Okay? So, let's say we have a right triangle. And this is theta. We have a right triangle here. So, ilapat natin ito sa Cartesian plane such that this is the origin and this is the x-axis. Okay, so this is the x-axis. x-axis, y-axis. So, kunyari, ang length nito is x, y, and this is r. So, we know gamit yung lesson natin last time that cosine theta this point is x comma y so cosine theta is x over r sine theta is y over r and tangent theta is um, y over x okay so para madali siyang tandaan titignan natin yung x, y, and r with respect to theta. So, yung katapat ni theta, siya yung y. Or, ang ibang tawag natin dun sa y is the opposite. Opposite side. And, yung r, tawag dun ay hypotenuse. At, yung x is the adjacent side. Okay. So, kung mag-drawing ulit ako ng isa pang right triangle, Sundin natin yung convention na yun. So, this is theta. This is opposite. Oops. This is opposite. Adjacent hypotenuse. So, dito napapasok yung sokatowa. No? yung so ka towa so sine is opposite over hypotenuse opposite over hypotenuse cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse and tangent is opposite over adjacent So, remember that figure. Eh, paano ko yung figure natin pag ganito? Pare na ikot lang. And let's say this is our theta. So, yung longest side is H, the hypotenuse. Katapat ni theta is the opposite. And then, yung isa is adjacent. Okay? So, let us apply this. 
by solving some problems. Okay, so let us solve this triangle. A is 5, alpha is 30, gamma is 90. So, drawing natin. So, ang gamma is 90. So, this is 90 degrees. So, right angle. So, that is gamma. Opposite ni gamma is C. Alpha is 30 degrees. Let's say this is alpha. And yung katapat niya, that is A, which is 5. Okay. So, isasolve natin yung mga nawawala. So, this is beta. This is B. So, nawawala yung tatlo, no? C, beta, and B. So, meron tayo, pwede tayong gumamit ng sign, no? Para sine 30 is opposite over hypotenuse. So, sine 30 degrees is opposite over hypotenuse. And sine 30 degrees is 1 half. So, C is So, this is 10. And mahanap na natin si si B. Gagamit tayo ng Pythagorean theorem. So, square nito plus square nito equals sa square nito. So, B square plus 5 square is hypotenuse square. So, B square is 100 minus 25, which is 75. Or B square, 75. So, B is square root of 75. Or 5, square root of 3. Okay, positive yung kinuha natin kasi lens ng side ng triangle CB. So, this is 5 square root of 3. So, ang nawawala na lang ay si beta. So, ang sum ng interior angles ng triangle ay 180 degrees. So, yun gagamitin natin. So, 30 degrees plus, this is 90, plus beta is 180 degrees. You can actually solve that beta is equal to 180. Puso ha? Okay. 180 minus 30 degrees minus 90 degrees. Which is 16 degrees. Okay. okay, so next example. Okay, so let us solve this triangle. So, kailangan madrawing muna natin yung triangle, no? So, this is a right triangle kasi may angle ka na 90. So, this is 90 degrees. So, ito yung beta. So, this is beta. Yung katapat niya ay si B. 12. And gamma is 15. Let's say this is gamma. Katapat ni gamma ay si letter C. So, yung nawawala. This is alpha. And this is A. Okay, so nawawala si alpha, C, at saka C, A. Okay, so pwede ulit tayong gumamit ng sine. Sine 15 degrees is opposite over hypotenuse. So opposite is C, hypotenuse is, is 12. So C is 12 sine. 15 degrees. O oh, kaso hindi special si 15 degrees. Gagamit tayo ng identities to solve sine 15 degrees. Sine 15 degrees is 30 degrees over 2. Ito na yung half angle formula for sine 
theta over 2. That is plus minus square root of 1 minus cosine theta over 2. So this is, uh, ang theta over 2 natin is 15 degrees. So ibig sabihin ng sine mo is positive. So positive ito. So, magiging square root siya ng 1 minus cosine, 30 degrees. Our theta is 30 degrees all over. So, C is 12 square root of a cosine 30 degrees is square root of 3 over 2. So, this is 12 square root of multiply everything multiply this by 2 multiply by 2 we get 2 minus square root of 3 over 4 or 12 square root ng 2 minus square root of 3 over 2 so C is uh, 12 over 2 is 6 so that is C okay so okay na si C so the value of C is a 6 square root of 2 minus square root of Okay. So, to compute for A, gagamit tayo ng Pythagorean Theorem. So, square of this plus square of this is the square of the hypotenuse. So, A square plus C square equal to 12 square. So, A square plus 6 square root ng 2 minus square root of 3 square is 12 square. Okay, so A square is 144 minus the square of this, which is um, 36 times 2 minus square root of 3. Square nito, mawawala lang yung radical. So it's A square is equal to 144 minus distribute 72. Distribute again, magiging plus na because negative negative positive and 144 minus 72 is 72 take the square root of both sides a positive yung kukunin natin kasi si ai length ng side okay so that is our a so yun yung value nito and finally, ano yung value ni alpha? So, alpha, so 15 degrees plus alpha plus 90 degrees is 180 degrees. Sum ng interior angles and triangle is 180. So, alpha is 180 degrees minus 90 degrees minus 15 degrees. Or alpha is uh, 75 degrees. And actually, pag sinosolve nyo ito, wala namang uh, rule kung ano yung unay mo, kung side ba, angle ba. So, ang general rule ko lang, I mean, ang preferred ko lang personally, or yung usual kong ginagawa is kung ano yung madaling i-compute, kinakompute ko na agad. So, maybe for some of you, madaling i-compute agad si alpha, compute agad si alpha. Tapos, nag-sign of alpha, sign of alpha is opposite over hypotenuse. Pwede rin yun, same answers lang din yung makukuha niyo. Okay? And that ends our lecture on right triangles. See you sa next video natin.